hell to the na 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 hell to the na no never dim your sparkle that's abuse you do not have to walk on eggshells to accommodate anybody if you find yourself walking around eggshells around certain people places and things stay the fuck away from them because why would you want to live accommodating somebody in an abusive environment. What happens to the dark always comes to the light, you guys. And remember, that betrayal was such a blessing. That betrayal was such a blessing. Hi, my beautiful baby. <laughs> Don't mind my face, it's like, Woo, the screen has been acting kind of crazy lately. So they will try you, but God's got you, okay? Or whoever you pray to, Allah, George, uh, Muhammad, they will try you, but God's always got you, okay? And I was just talking to a girlfriend earlier, you know who you are. <laughs> and she was like, well, I think the lesson I learned is I gotta dim my sparkle. <laughs> baby the last thing you want to do for any company any relationship any connection anything any culture religion um boyfriend girlfriend um company you never want to dim your sparkle for anybody you never want to dim your sparkle for nobody walking this earth at all god gave you that flame within you to honor yourself you house god you are god in the flesh so you got to understand when the devil tries to try you, when the devil and the demons come out, because let's admit it, this is hell. Okay. Earth is hell. When they try you, the chosen one, that sparkle and that razzle dazzle, that is what anoints you. That is what brings you higher. That is what sets you apart. And if you feel like lately the dark ones have been really testing you, it's because you're strong. It's because you are given all these divine powers and the tools in your toolbox to utilize and to teach. What happens to the dark always comes to the light, you guys. And remember that betrayal was such a blessing. That betrayal was such a blessing because anything that happens in the dark always, always comes in the light. And like I always say, karma's only a bitch if you're a bitch. Karma's only a bitch the if you're a bitch. number one thing is always, my love, always stay in your power. Never give your power away. Never give your power away. Never get, because you're gonna beat. If you do not speak up for your inner child, if you do not stick up for yourself, if you're in an abusive relationship, um, an abusive company, abusive landlord, if you do not speak up for yourself, nobody else is going to come save you. No one's going to speak up for you. You will clog, literally clog your th throat chakra if you fail to speak up for yourself. Baby, stay in your power. If you are being bullied, if you are being taken for granted, if you're in a narcissistic relationship, and we all know they're master manipulators, okay? You can't, there's no way to get through a narcissist. They have no heart, they have no conscience, they're sociopaths. Like, so, and it is, I really do feel like narcissist is really thrown around loosely nowadays, but what I'm trying to say is whenever you come up to the devil, or a demonic person or someone who's just very low frequency jealous and you can feel it intuitively you can pick up when somebody's jealous hating on you god will not let that happen god will not let you go into the fire into the shadow as i walk through the valley of shadow death without having support without having the light don't you know the number one most beautiful gorgeous tool in this world is love love absolute love even people who've pained on me snaked on me i'm at this point in my life where i've been through hell and back so many times i have so much compassion because it has to take some kind of inner hate to really snake on somebody that bad never give a dark entity a dark person a, a bully a narcissist power never give them any energy for example, for example, because I have lots of them, because, you know, human services, there's a lot of drama. <laughs> so there's a lot of lateral violence within black on black crime, native on native crime. Um, just a lot of, everybody could relate to me, Asian on Asian crime. There's colorism. There's a lot. There's just everything. There's racism, prejudice, systematic racism, institutional racism, pretendians, people applying for scholarships who don't even have 5%. I can go on. 
there's a lot of injustices in this world being a colored person. So take it from me when I say that Especially if you're such a light, loving being, don't ever try dim your beautiful, kind, sparkly heart. Don't ever try dim your beautiful, sparkly heart. Okay, my hair's like really down. <laughs> hair is like super crazy, but don't ever try to dim your beautiful, sparkly heart to try accommodate lower frequency people. Like I was just saying, for example, I've been in many situations and because I've studied policy and harassment and I'm a super pro at it throughout Canada, I have definitely studied from the book from the back to the front, okay? So I know when it comes to any kind of um, business or corporation or human rights law, okay? All the clauses, everything. So as a employer, as a girlfriend, as just a human being, you have more rights than you think. And speaking up, you guys, speaking up, staying in your power, going down swinging, you will always, always, the key is honoring your inner child. You gotta honor your inner child, you guys. You, got, you gotta stop abandoning yourself. That is, that self, that abandoning yourself is when you beat yourself up. It's when you have the shame, the guilt. Oh, I shoulda, woulda, coulda did this. Oh, I hate, and you're giving that person power by not speaking up. The key is you got to honor your inner child. You got to honor that voice within you that has to stick up for yourself. Because if you're not going to stick up for yourself, who's going to stick up for you? No one's going to come and save your ass. You are God in the flesh. You are your own savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so you need to honor your inner child and love that child, protect your child, mama bear that child. And if you, someone's disrespecting you and manipulating you, stealing you, um, belittling you, that is bullying. That is harassment, that is shade. Call them out on their bullshit the first time they do it. Cause if they find out that they can do it to you all the time, guess what? They're gonna do it to you all the time. And your honor is worth more, okay? You're never alone in any kind of battle you do. You got like your millions of ancestors and you have God. You are never alone in anything that you do. You are the chosen one. Honor your house always, baby. Never, ever abandon yourself. Change is unbelievably beautiful. Change is the most gorgeous, sacred thing that's only promised you guys. The better you can do non-attachment and trust that God has a bigger plan for you, the better you will be in changing your life. And this is just how it works. It's like metaphysics. It's frequencies aligning. Energy attracts energy, you guys. So if you're in a dusty um, workplace that has you've outgrown a long time ago and you're just faking it till you make it for that paycheck, baby, don't sell your soul. Do not sell your soul. We're in 2023. The spiritual industry right now is gross is $223 million, okay? So by the time of 2026, Forbes predicts that the spiritual industry is gonna go up to $223 billion. So bitch, if you're looking for a new job, get on e-commerce, start selling stuff on Amazon, start selling, start shipping out from Alibaba, open your own business. Don't think that you are in dire straits and you have to sell your soul, sell your ass for a job, sell your ass for a boyfriend because he's paying the rent. You are God in the flesh. Anything you ask and you know and you have the faith and you believe in the divine timing, God will deliver. You do not have to dim your beautiful sparkle and you do not have to let anyone ever raid on your parade. If you're a weirdo, great, I am too, in the most best way, okay? I've been calling myself that since like 10 years and then all of a sudden now it's like derogatory. Just <laughs> But definitely never dim your sparkle, 100%. I was just, like I said, I was talking to a girlfriend earlier and she's like, I decided that in order for me to really succeed in this life, I really gotta dim my sparkle. That's the key to success. And I'm like, nah, no, no. Hell to the na, na, na. Hell to the na. No, never dim your sparkle. That's abuse. You do not have to walk on eggshells to accommodate anybody. If you find yourself walking around eggshells around certain people, places, and things, stay the fuck away from them because why would you want to live accommodating somebody in an abusive environment? Some people get so used Stockholm syndrome to living with their abusive environments, workplaces, boyfriends, best friends, family, that they have Stockholm syndrome where they're so already used to walking on eggshells because that's all they've known. Don't have Stockholm syndrome. Don't feel like that's you have to settle for that. Cause, and that's something that you need to understand is faith is a mustard seed. When you know that you're choosing your higher self and you're honoring your inner child and you're, you're not abandoning yourself, God will deliver it to you.
I've done it in my life so many times, you guys. I've walked away from people, places, and things, environments that dimmed my sparkle, and I got better. Every single time. Every single time, you guys, I chose myself, I won. I fucking won. Every time you walk out and you choose yourself, and you stay in your power, and you stick up for yourself, you won. When you walk away, sometimes you gotta walk away from toxic environments, relationships, people, places, and things. You won when you walk away because you're at peace. You've already won. Because like I said earlier, the devil will try try you, but guess what? Your ancestors and God is stronger, harder, and more gangster, okay? So let them come try you. Let them come try you. But I don't want you thinking you gotta dim your sparkle. Always stay in your power. Honor your inner child and speak up for yourself. This is the key to life, okay? <laughs> and I promise it works. I promise it works. And you just feel great, you guys. You just feel like, wow, I feel so great not selling out. You know what I mean? Because there's millions of people out here. We got a million sheep out here. And I, you ain't a sheep. You're a warrior, okay? You're a lion. You weren't meant to fall on your back and be a victim for the rest of your motherfucking life. No, you're better. You're stronger than that. You're the ancestors chosen ones. You weren't made to just roll over and die. You were meant for a higher and bigger plan. That's why the road has been crazier for you. Okay. God have, gives his soldiers the hardest path because he knows what's up. So don't think that you were given this path or going through these changes to disservice you. All this change is actually meant to serve you. It's making you stronger, wiser, wounds to wisdom, and way the fuck more of a powerhouse. Because at the end of the day, 10 years down the road, you'll be like, dang. You'll look the devil in the face and be like, try me now, bitch. Try me now. And that's just how it works. I can talk about it in my own life. I've been in the industry for 15 years, and I've dealt with the biggest sharks you can ever deal with in the penitentiary, in and out, corrections, whatever. Biggest dog, biggest fish in the sea. And I always come out the winner when a chicken dinner always always and it's not even an ego feeding my ego thing it's you can't get around don't bully just be a kind loving person be a kind loving person is that so hard and god bless me with a gift i bully the bully i bully the bullies that's it i'm not a bully i spread love i sprinkle happiness i'm absolutely ghetto fabulous <laughs> and that's it i do not hurt I spread love and light in the most best way possible through truth tea, okay? If tough love is gonna get to people, then that's what I do because guess what? That's the only way I can actually sponge in wisdom is through tough love. I won't listen to you if you're too fucking airy fairy. I can't relate to you. Mm, nah, I need tough love. <laughs> that's the only way I'll listen to anybody in this world. So if you feel like you gave too much love to the situation, um, you know, you gave too, love, too much love to the environment, people, place, thing, workplace, boyfriend, and you're like, oh, but I invested so much love, I put so much love into them, and was it a waste? I want you to know this, my baby, all the progress, all the love that you put into people, all the love that you put into people always comes back to you tenfold in some way, shape, or form. Always, when you, the strong keep a kind, loving heart, you guys, never forget that, the strong keep a kind, loving, beautiful heart. I was like walking around yesterday after the gym and I, I was, I couldn't believe like strangers, everybody, like just angels from everybody. I looked up and people would smile at me just every walk of life, never in my life. And I was thinking about this when I was in the shower today, seven people, at least when I glanced at them, smiled at me and never in my life, you guys, have I ever seen so many motherfucking strangers from all races, ethnicities. It was the UN up in the bit, that bitch yesterday with everybody smiling at me. I was like, dang. Everyone's smiling at me like I'm like usually I'm the first one to stunt on people and smile at them first because I, I love to smile at people even if they're really grouchy and they give me the evil eye I'm like whatever um, but yeah seven like I was like wow I was thinking about that in the shower today I was like wow god seven people just strangers just randomly smiled at me today like that was that's that's beautiful this world, even though this is the hell, this is earth realm, 3D is hell, that's okay because you, guess what? You are God in the flesh and you are the creator of your universe. You are the creator. You are more powerful than you think and that's what they don't want you to know. They absolutely hate that you're God in the flesh, okay? The inorganic reptilians. They don't want you to know how powerful you are and that's who runs the world. But guess what? You're God in the flesh. You have so much power you don't even know. 
<gasps> this is so beautiful. So yeah, this world is a beautiful, gorgeous place. I will die saying that to the last of my end of my days. And when it is the end of my days, I am going to play Mariah Carey and Christmas songs at my wake. So RSVP. <laughs> but yeah, so like definitely know that the changes are going to be scary but just trust in god that there's always a better plan for you whenever you choose yourself protect your inner child from abusive people place things boyfriends work environments when you protect and honor your inner child and take yourself out of an envi environment that was very abusive, walking on eggshells, belittling, um, just very harassy. Understand God will deliver a higher frequency environment to you. It's happened in my own life so many times, you guys. And I promise it always, the sun is always shining even when it rains. I promise to God that's like non, one of my number one quotes. And I know with Gen Z, don't get mad, don't come, get, don't get mad, Gen Z, but y'all are too liberal and soft okay like with the whole protect pedophiles and protect oh we have to protect this we have to protect nah you're doing the most it's way too left now it's way too too much like i know back in the day it was way too conservative with a you know um brutality but now it's too left nah now y'all are just enabling and it's straight up abuse so we got to stop that there has to be some type of balance let's meet halfway because I'm, i don't want my enforcers my police officers to have to kindly we got rapists out here we have pedophiles out here we do need regulators you guys we do need righteous anger understand this whole toxic culture that's too sensitive there is such thing as toxic sensitivity and toxic passive aggressiveness stop there's such a thing as healthy righteous anger that is how laws are made that is how pedophiles are caught that's how rapists are taken down there's such a thing as righteous anger protecting your inner child when you got to speak up for yourself speak up for yourself my voice because i'm a singer i've always spoken like this so when i speak to people they're just like why are you so aggressive what no this is the way i talk like what are you talking about this is the way i talk i'm an aries and venus i have straight fire and capricorn on my chart what you address me some type type of way like and then when someone brings that same energy what you can't take it how's it feel <laughs> like make this make sense help me help you help me help you so yes that's definitely honoring your inner child you always got to understand there's righteous anger no one's gonna come and save you and stick up for you all right we can't run you always got to speak up for yourself if you don't speak up for yourself your throat chakra is gonna get closed what inside you thinks that you're not worthy enough to speak, to have that representation and that protection? What inside you thinks that you don't have 15 ancestors who have your back and will deliver a better job, a better boyfriend, a better relationship, a better family situation, a better town and better environment? Change is beautiful. Change is gorgeous. And through the hard times, it's always the phoenix rising, you guys. When you're at the dark, in that dark spot thinking, oh, I can't go on and this change is so scary. That is when you're being planted into the beautiful Phoenix rising that you were meant to be. Cause you were meant to sparkle and shine. You weren't meant to dim yourself in these mediocre, dark ass environments or relationships where you have to dim yourself. Fuck that. Life is too short and you're too beautiful and sparkly. Never settle for that. You're worthy of more. You're God's chosen one. Okay always speak up for yourself always honor yourself remember we attract we attract we attract we do not chase we are queens we are royalty we are beautiful we are gorgeous we are worthy and we are good enough as we are okay we attract we attract we attract so that is the message i had to bring to you today i love you so much i love you so much and i'll see you next time on beautiful love channel